Chapter 3, Work Environment and Ethical Responsibilities. We're going to start out with the triple bottom line, people, planet, and profit. Many businesses subscribe to a new standard of success, the triple bottom line, representing people, planet, and profit. It measures on organizations' social, environmental, and financial performance. Success in these areas can be measured through a social audit, a systematic assessment of a company's performance in implementing socially responsible programs, often based on predefined goals. The triple bottom line has particular appeal to many young adults, millennials, who are less concerned with finding financial success than with making a difference and achieving a meaningful life. Managers operate in two environments, internal and external. Both made up of stakeholders, the people whose interests are affected by the organization's activities. The first, or internal environment, includes employees, owners, and board of directors. The external environment of stakeholders consists of the task environment and the general environment. The task environment consists of 11 groups that present the manager with daily tasks to deal with. Customers pay to use an organization's goods and services. Competitors compete for customers or resources. Suppliers supply the raw materials, services, equipment, labor, or energy to other organizations. Distributors help another organization sell its goods and, service, its goods and services to customers. Allies join forces to achieve advantages neither organization can perform as well alone. Employee organizations are labor unions and employee associations. Local communities are residents, companies, governments, and nonprofit entities that depend on the organization's taxes, payroll, and charitable contributions. Financial institutions are commercial banks, investment banks, and insurance companies that deal with the company. Government regulators are regulatory agencies that establish the ground rules under which the company operates. Special interest groups are groups whose members try to influence specific issues that may affect the company. The mass media are print, radio, TV, and internet sources that affect the company public relations. The general environment includes six forces. Economic forces consist of general economic conditions and trends, unemployment, inflation, interest rates, economic growth that may affect a company's performance. Technological forces are new developments in methods for transforming resources into goods and services. Sociocultural forces are influences and trends originating in a country, society, or culture's human relationships and values that may affect a company. Demographic forces are influences on an organization arising from changes in the characteristics of a population such as age, gender, and ethnic. Political legal forces are changes in the way politics shapes laws and laws shape the opportunities for and threats to a company. International forces are changes in the economic, political, legal, and technological global system that may affect a company. The ethics are the standards of right and wrong that influence behavior. Ethical behavior is behavior that is accepted as right as opposed to wrong according to those standards. Ethical dilemmas often take place because of an organization's value system. Values are the relatively permanent and deeply held underlying beliefs and attitudes that help determine a person's behavior. Managers should sh really strive for ethical leadership defined as leadership that is directed by respect for ethical beliefs and values for the dignity and rights of others. There are four approaches to deciding ethical dilemmas. Utilitarianism. Ethical behavior is guided by what will result in the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Individual. Ethical behavior is guided by what will result in individual's best long-term interest, which ultimately is everyone's self-interest. Moral rights, ethical behavior is guided by respect for the fundamental rights of human beings such as those expressed in the Constitution. Justice, ethical behavior is guided by respect for the impartial standards of fairness and equity. 
public outrage over white-collar crime, Enron and Tycho, led to the creation of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002, Sarbox, which established requirements for proper financial re record-keeping for public companies and penalties for noncompliance. There are three ways an organization may foster high ethical standards. Top managers must support a strong ethical climate. The organization may have a code of ethics which consists of a formal written set of ethical standards. An organization must reward ethical behavior as in not discouraging whistleblowers, employees who report organizational misconduct to the public. Social responsibility is a manager's duty to take actions that will benefit the interests of society as well as a company. The idea of social responsibility has opposing and supporting viewpoints. The opposing viewpoint is that the social responsibility of business is to make profits. The supporting viewpoint is that since business creates some problems, such as pollution, it should help solve them. One, scho one scholar, Archie Carroll, suggests the responsibilities of, of an organization in the global economy should have the following priorities. Be a good global corporate citizen. Be ethical in its practices. Obey the law and make a profit. One type of social responsibility is sustainability or going green, meeting humanity's needs without harming future generations. A major threat is climate change, which refers to major changes in temperature, wind patterns, and similar matters over several decades. Global warming, once aspect of climate change, refers to the rise in global average temperature near the Earth's surface, caused mostly by increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases such as carbon emissions from fossil fuels. Another type of social responsibility is for philanthropy, making charitable donations to benefit humankind. Positive ethical behavior and social responsibility can pay off in the form of customer goodwill, more efficient and loyal employees, better quality of job applicants and retained employees, enhanced sales growth, less employee misconduct and fraud, better stock price, and enhanced profits. Corporate governance is a system of governing a company so that the interests of corporate owners and other stakeholders are protected. One way to further corporate governance is to be sure directors are clearly separated in their authority from the CEO by insisting on stronger financial reporting systems and more accountability.